Hey there, Bryce here with a quick message before we hop into today's podcast. We love pulling this podcast together for you, and we love that we can make it available each day for free. What we would love even more, though, is for as many kids as possible to be getting their daily dose of our sugar-coated broccoli. And that's where you can help. If you're listening on Apple and have a moment, we'd love it if you left a review and spread the love. It helps us grow, which is crucial if we're going to continue to do what we do. Thanks for your loyal support. And now it's time for the pod. Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Combermary people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun. Free. Fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Christy Kijarina. It's Wednesday, May 8. In Squiz Kids Today, T-Rex tool theory busted, Wisconsin bus hero saves the day, a sheer genius world record and repercussions for rankings. That's what's making news kid style. The Lowdown. Have you ever overheard people talking about you behind your back? If what they're saying is positive, that's wonderful. It might make you feel really good about yourself. But if it's not, it could make you feel really bad. That's what happened to entertainer and best-selling author Arne Do. When he was at school, he overheard two girls talking about a list they'd made, ranking the boys and how good-looking they were. He overheard that he was second from the bottom, and it made him feel really bad about himself for a very long time. And this week in Melbourne, some Year 11 boys have been expelled from their school for doing just that. They made a list ranking the girls in their class and shared it with their classmates. Now, you might not think that this story is very newsworthy, but it's making the headlines because our whole society is engaged in a really big conversation at the moment about being respectful to women and girls, about treating them well and making sure they feel safe and strong. So with Mother's Day coming up this weekend, we could all take some time out to think about the awesome women and girls in our lives, because we literally wouldn't be here without them. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a new story from wherever it stops. And today, we've landed at Glen Hills Middle School in Wisconsin, USA, where at the end of a school day, back in April, 8th grader AC Holland boarded a school bus to head home. Pretty normal, right? But as the bus rolled away, AC realised something was wrong. The bus zoomed right past its regular turn, alerting AC, who noticed the driver's head was slumped over and she was unconscious. Like a superhero, AC sprinted to the front of the bus. He pulled the driver's foot off the accelerator and slammed on the brakes just as the bus was about to veer off course and into oncoming traffic. Whoa! But AC didn't stop there. He dialed 911, the emergency services number in America, and got all the other kids to call their parents. This week, AC's bravery and quick thinking was celebrated by everyone in his town. The school board, the mayor, even the police and fire departments joined in. And AC? Well, he said this wild bus ride made him feel even more confident and he's just glad everyone got home safe. What a champ. Animal Kingdom. Now, if there's one animal I wouldn't want to have beef with, it's the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the king of the dinosaurs. And even though the T-Rex has been extinct for 60 million years, it's still causing a ruckus in the world of science. You see, last year there was a study released that concluded T-Rexes were as smart as some monkeys and maybe even used tools. Somehow, I can't quite imagine those tiny little T-Rex arms holding tools. But now, another group of scientists have come out to say the T-Rex was not that bright after all. In fact, if you had to compare it with an animal today, it was probably only as smart as your average crocodile. Which is not that smart at all as it happens. Which I think is probably for the best really, because seriously, T-Rexes were terrifying enough without adding intelligence into the equation. (laughs) 
Squiz Kids Salutes. This week, a huge Squiz Kids Salute goes to Aussie shearer Janine Kim, who is the first Aussie woman to set a shearing world record and the first woman ever to do it with merino sheep. They're the really woolly ones. Get this, on Saturday, when the temperature didn't get above a very chilly 14 degrees at a shearing shed near Cassilis, New South Wales, Janine was able to shear a whopping 358 sheep in just eight hours. That's an average of one sheep every 80.8 seconds. Janine has been shearing full-time for 11 years, but started when her dad, who's also a shearer, handed her the shears when she was just 14 years old. In order to achieve this impressive record, Janine spent a whole year getting up at 4am to do fitness training in the gym before heading off to work for eight hours of shearing every day. You might say she has sheer determination. (coughs) Sorry, had to slip that one in. And on the record setting day, Janine was also raising funds for her favourite charity, Rural Aid. Janine hopes her success will inspire other women to consider a career in shearing. Janine Kim, Squiz Kids salutes you. Time for the Squiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. After AC saved the school bus, he dialed the emergency phone number in America, which is 911. What is Australia's emergency phone number? Well done if you knew it. It's triple zero, 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 zero. Question number two. Which animal do scientists think T-Rex was as smart as? Yeah, good remembering. T-Rex was as smart as a crocodile, they think. Question number three. Which breed of woolly sheep did world record holder Janine Kim shear 358 of on Saturday? Great work if you remembered their merino sheep. Shout out. It's May 8th. A very happy 98th birthday to everyone's favourite wildlife presenter and conservationist, Sir David Attenborough. We ran a competition earlier this year where we asked you to send in your best Attenborough impressions. We've reposted the highlights to Instagram and Facebook today in case you missed it. It's also a special day for the following Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today. Lily M from Keylor East, Zoe from Coldale, Atticus from Yass, Axel from Middle Harbour, Sophie and Adam from Sydney, Blake from Mount Isa, Hayden from Forest Lake and Bartholomew listening all the way over there in London, United Kingdom. And a belated birthday shout out today goes to Chloe from Northcote. Classroom shout outs today go to Class 6B with Mrs Johnston at Emmanuel Anglican College in Ballina. Miss Bailey's class from Denison State School in Emerald. Class 1M with Ms Misso and Class 3-4N with Nikki, both at Essex Heights Primary School in Mount Waverley. Class SIA with Mrs Smyszelski at Grovedale West Primary School. Classes 5A and 5B with Mrs Eldridge and Miss Shaw at Ashmore State School on the Gold Coast. And lastly, but definitely not leastly, to the students with Miss Pearl and Mr Mason at Mandama Primary School. Don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout out, or if you're after a classroom shout out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au or just fill out the form on our website. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out.